Number one. Oh God, I almost died. I was supposed to be at the skate park way earlier than I actually showed up, um, but hey, we're here now. And I was thinking instead of just like making a, like a writing-ish video today, like I kind of wanted to make something that was a little more beneficial to you guys as opposed to just being, being entertaining. That being said, today we're going to talk about three simple, simple things, super simple things that are just going to make you an all-around better scooter rider. Now. I'm not saying that these are going to be really, really easy for you guys to learn, but they are very simple ideas that you guys can implement into the riding that you're already doing, whether it's at the skate park, in the street, in your front yard, it doesn't matter. The three things that we're going to be talking about are very important to get you guys to stand out from the normal rider at the skate park, especially nowadays because I see a lot of people on Instagram, a lot of kids that are learning how to ride and, and even some really, really um, gifted riders already, very talented riders that aren't really doing mainly two of the things that we're going to be talking about. And if they were just to put these just two just two of these things into their riding and just kind of push them a little bit further it would just really help um, the visual perspective from somebody watching them at the skate park or online when it comes to their riding so tip number one all right so before we actually talk about this stuff two things to tell you guys about number one our grand opening at the zone is going to be on saturday june 24th so if you guys want to come down and hang out with us for the grand opening of the brand new store cruise out the Details will be in the description as well as right here. That's our address, phone number, everything like that. So come down, have a good time. We'll have giveaways, raffles, and uh, all around just a good time. So number one. And number two, we got some new hats dropping for merch. So RavenWater.com, new hats are gonna be dropping on Saturday, this Saturday, not next Saturday, this Saturday, which is what, the 17th, I think? Haven't done a new hat in a while, a very long while. So if you guys wanna snatch one of these, be the first to get them, because I think we only made like 50 of them. So get ready for that first batch. Okay, so the first tip that we're gonna be talking about, the first little tiny adjustment that you guys can make to whatever it is that you're doing right now is gonna be your stance, okay? I ride regular. A lot of you guys have probably heard that terminology, regular versus goofy or ski, right? That's another one that's kind of within the scooter world. Regular is left foot forward, goofy is right foot forward, okay? Now, this is not one of the three things I was talking about earlier that some riders could work on that are like already gifted or whatever, because once you've kind of found your stance, usually and you kind of adapt with it and it's okay most of the time, but if you guys can choose one of two, which is either goofy or regular, it'll help you guys in the long run, no doubt. There's a few different things about the three stances that you gotta watch out for though, right? Number one, you do not wanna ride regular and have your feet super far apart like this, okay? It's probably not beneficial to you, especially if you ride a smaller deck like mine. If you ride a seven wide, you've obviously already kind of experimented with a lot of things and I don't ride a seven, so I don't know what the comfort level is like on that, but I'm assuming it's probably not that comfortable. If you guys watch a lot of the pro riders or a lot of the amateur level riders or intermediate or expert or whatever, you'll notice that most of them probably ride pretty close to a, about this position. Maybe an inch in between their feet, maybe two, they'll, they'll push it a little bit further, but a lot of times they're almost touching. Now the reason this is so beneficial is because let's say you're doing a tail up on this hip. Let's say I just wanna do a, actually let's, let's go a little bit further. Let's say I wanna do a triple tail up on this hip, right? If my feet are super, super spread apart like this, it's gonna be really weird to get that flick right and get this front foot out of the way. Not to mention my balance can be all over the place because I can't really stand forward. My, my hips are gonna be super sideways like this and it's just gonna be super awkward riding up this way right and if i was super super wide like that i'm just gonna do a single really quick i'm, I'm gonna spread my feet apart and do a single it's just it's i can do it because i've been riding for a hundred years but the landing portion of it and like the flicking of it is just super super odd and it's a lot more difficult it's a lot more added pressure and a lot more added effort to just doing a tail whip that doesn't account for if you had to do like a turn down or an invert or if you wanted to do a grab a grab it, you could kind of you can kind of argue the fact it might make grabs a little bit easier, but some of those tricks that you want to move around on, like a bri flip maybe, you need to get your feet out of the way faster. That, being so far apart, is going to be hard. So now, if I go to my normal stance and do a triple, it's so much easier because I can get that flick quick. I can get my feet out of the way. There's so many different benefits to just having your feet in the right spot. Now, let's talk about ski, okay? Ski, if you guys don't know what that terminology is, if you're new to the sport, you're probably riding ski. A lot of the newer riders, the brand new riders, usually ride something like this. Or if you ride bikes, if you came from bikes, a lot of the biker guys will ride 
one foot kind of here and the other foot just slightly behind it. Just because they're so used to pedals. They're used to standing like this as it is. Not good on a scooter. If you do that right now, stop. Go the other direction, go somewhere else. You don't wanna learn like that. Cause once you've learned like that, you've done a lot of tricks like that, changing from one stance to another is very, very difficult. Not to mention it's hard to land ski. Like I'll try to tail up right now. I'm gonna try to land ski. I, I, we've practiced this back in the day just to mess around. I can't do it. It is so freaking hard. So we can try to tail up and land ski. Oh, well I did it, but I almost died. See what I mean? You don't want to have to do a tail up one way, land another way, and then re-grip your feet. So like if I rode ski, right? Let's say I wanted to do a triple tail up, land normal, not ski, land normal, and then do another trick, ski on the on the eight. Just because I've used, I'm used to like throwing all my tricks like that, right? Watch how difficult this is gonna be. You guys might not be able to see how difficult it is for me, but you're gonna have to take my word for it. So I'm gonna start off ski, feet in the back, that's triple, now I gotta regroup into a, a right flip, right? Like that is so much going on versus if I just did a triple tail up, caught it normally, moved my feet like an inch, maybe two inches around, and then just threw a bright flip that makes my life so much easier. There's a couple of different variations for ski. If you stand with both of your feet pointing forward, just stop, stop right now, change, don't do it. It's gonna haunt you later. Unless you're doing manual. If you wanna ride ski and like kind of hover your foot over the brake like that, and just kind of hang out, you can do that. That's where ski is okay. But that's about the only time. Tip number two. So for the second portion of this, we're gonna talk about speed. Speed is gonna make your riding feel and look so much better. And if you guys get to the point to where you do wanna go pro or you want like a big company to look at you, you wanna get sponsors and brand deals and things like that, you can't be going slow on all of your clips on Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. You can't, like if I was gonna do a bri flip, right? Again, we're doing another bri flip. Actually, we'll do a bar twist and we'll just do it out of this bank right here. I gotta take my gloves off for this trick. Oh, by the way, if you guys ride gloves, Check these out, RaymondWarner.com. We have a lot of the Globe Camo ones in stock right now and a lot of the uh, the new Gradient gloves. So uh, snatch some right now. These are scooter specific gloves. We make them for scooter riders, designed by myself. I ride gloves I have for years. So uh, I made sure that uh, we made all the good parts that we need for a glove, in a glove for scootering. So uh, these are good. And they don't rip a lot. That's that's one big thing about them. So if I was gonna do a bar twist out of this bank, right? Let's just, let's just say I did one really slow and went right there. Now I gotta push a lot. And I'm gonna do like a front feeble whip out, right? When I get up to that point, it's not so bad. It doesn't look very fluid. I gotta stop and then build up a lot of speed. And it looks just kind of choppy for, for lack of a better term. Choppy is not good when you're riding scooters. You want everything to look clean. You want everything to look solid. You want it to look like, like it just naturally happens, right? That's what you want. So now let's do a bar twist again. And we'll do that front feeble whip out. And I'm gonna go faster and watch how much smoother this looks on a GoPro. All right, so let's drop in here, pick up some speed. Get that. Now one little tiny push. Like there wasn't a lot going on in that. There was one little push just to make it look like I filled a gap right there. And it was just so much cleaner, smoother. Can you film something for me really quick? Would yeah. you be down? Yeah. My man. Really hoping my 360s in here because this would be very prime time for this. Let's freaking go. And there's a card in it. one see what i mean doesn't look that good it's kind of choppy let's do the second one let's do the fast one now way better way cleaner not choppy you just land you go you do your other trick it's how it's supposed to be it's how it's supposed to be thank you sir you're welcome okay the third third and final thing the third and final simple tip to make you a better rider that we're talking about today is height I'm gonna give you guys a very easy view for this first portion of this. Number one. See what I mean? See, you see like there's such a, such a large difference, right? Watch, we'll do a different trick. Watch, we'll do 450s. All right, number one. Oh God, I almost died. All right, don't, don't, don't pay attention to the first one because I almost died. But you see what I mean? Doesn't that second one just look so much better? A little more height, a little more time to add a little bit of style, a little bit of flavor to it. Not to mention the first one, I went really low. And if I, and 
if I had a little bit more time, I probably could have like pulled it off a little bit better and maybe not been as sketchy because I would just have more height to kind of make some minor adjustments because you only have so much time in the air, right? So height is your friend. If you go higher, it looks better. It's more impressive to people that don't know scootering. It's more impressive to people that do know scootering. And just, it's, it's cleaner, it's flowy, it's nice. Oh, good Lord. Height is an extremely important factor when you're riding your scooter. And speed you need in order to make all that work out like that. That's like not a hard thing to learn how to do, but it impresses the crap out of people. You like when people do things way up in the air? Or do you like when people do things just kind of lower? You like it when people go like, so if I do a clip, if I do a tail up on the eight, or if I do a, a double tail up on the eight, do you like when I go just a little high or do you like when I blast it? Blast it. Do you like when I go super high, right? We're gonna do a flare for this kid. We're gonna do one just halfway up the eight, like right about here, a little quick. Let's do a little high one for him. Second. Second one looks better, right? Which one looks smoother? The second one for sure. Second one. Second one looks smoother. Second one feels smoother. I know what you're thinking. The higher you go, the harder you fall. That's true. Because everybody already knows how to go low. Every, like I could do a tail up right here. I could do a triple tail up right here and, and go a foot in the air. Everybody that learns how to do tricks starts them low. Then you give it a little more pepper and then you start to go higher. Now, with all that being said, let's head over to Scooter Zone really quick and recap. All right, well, we didn't end up going to the shop. I ended up going home and I fell asleep. Stance is very, very important. Don't stand ski. If you're going to stand regular or goofy, make sure you don't stand super straight. Stand at a little angle, 45 degrees, with your feet barely separated. Number two, speed. Speed is super important. Number three, height. Those are three very simple things you guys can implement into your riding today to make you guys better riders pretty much right away. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I'm out of here. Later.